hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country we know Unam the Kanu's arrest has raised um, a lot of um, mixed reactions and um, uh, um, attack on President Mohamed Buhari as well. Yesterday, um, Benue State Governor nailed it on the head, told President Mohamed Buhari that the same energy you used to to look for Unam the Kanu, used that same energy to look for this killer Fulani headsman. And that to him, he doesn't think that... Um, uh, um, Nam the Kano poses any threat to the to to the country. He's not a problem. He's not the reason behind the insecurity in the country. Fulani headsmen are one of the reason of the insecurity. Farmers are scared of going out to their various farms because of Fulani headsmen. How many of them have been arrested? Well, um, uh, we know that um, Buhari himself um, is a Fulani man, and um, all of the other governors, all they are doing is that they are all supporting. These killer Fulani headsmen. God will show us mercy. Judgment will definitely come. Well, with regards to Unam the Kano's arrest, we know that um, Unam the Kano's family uh, broke the news that Unam the Kano was actually arrested in Kenya as against the earlier report that he was picked up in the United Kingdom. His family gave that report. And um, there's been um, a lot of um, attack on Kenyan government for their role, what they did, how they assisted. President Mohamed Buhari in um, arresting Nnamdi Kanu. What we've got right now is that um, Kenya, they've opened up, they've spoken up on the role they played um, to assist or support Nigeria, support President Mohamed Buhari in the arrest of Nnamdi Kanu. We'll bring you all of those details in a moment. Lai Mohamed has also um, spoken as well. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Kenya denies helping Nigeria to rearrest Nam de Kanu. No one quite knows which country played host to Kanu's rearrest. Kanu, who had been on the run for four years, was brought into Abuja, Nigeria's capital city, on Sunday, June 27, 2021, and was headed into a courtroom in handcuffs on June 29th. There had been plenty of speculations over which other countries played a part in his capture. With the United Kingdom, Czech Republic, Israel, and Ethiopia named in the local press as a raft of possible nations who worked with the Nigerian government on Kanu's rearrest. Kanu's brother, Kinsley Kanu, had disclosed that his brother was arrested in Kenya, a claim that Kenyans have now rebutted. A spokesman for the Kenya Interior Ministry told Reuters that the ministry wasn't aware of the development. Kenya's Director General of Immigration Services, Alexander Mutishi, told Kenya's Nation newspaper that it was impossible to tell whether Kanu had entered Kenyan territory. The Nigerian government has also refused to disclose where Kanu was arrested, with Information Minister Lai Mohammed telling the media on Thursday that Kanu was followed for over two years and that he lived a five-star life what we can tell you once again is that the rearrest was made possible by the diligent effort of our security and intelligence agencies in collaboration with countries with which we have obligations we'll continue to respect and honor the obligations mohammed said the minister also warned that we assure you that none of kanu's collaborators irrespective of their standing in the society, will be spared. They will face the full wrath of the law for the activities that challenge our nation's sovereignty and threatens its unity. No one, no matter how highly placed, is bigger than the country. Kanu flouted his bail conditions while on trial for treason and terrorism in 2017 and fled the country. Kanu's IPOB 6A separated southern eastern region that tried in the 1967 to break away from nigeria under the name republic of biafra 
1967 secession attempt triggered a three-year civil war in which more than a million Igbos died, mostly from starvation. Wow. This politics playing out here right now again because Kanu's brother was the one that revealed Kinsley Kanu. He was the one that disclosed that his brother was arrested in Kenya. Shockingly right now, Kenya government, they are denying the fact that um, Kanu was arrested in their territory, that they could not even confirm. Uh, they don't have any details to show he how he entered Kenya. Also, the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, you know, um, they are still holding it. They've refused to let it out where exactly Kanu was uh, arrested all they could say is that uh, they've been trailing kanu for the last couple of years they've been following him closely that was how they were able to reveal that uh, they stated that uh, kanu has been living five star life also um buhari's government and they also made another shocking revelation that um, they had countries that helped them they had the people that uh, worked with them and because um, those countries worked with them that they had they were they had some obligations so it has they have some things that they are obligated to and Lai Mohammed was confirming that we will continue to respect and honor the obligations who knows what those obligations are they've not stated it in the open but it's quite surprising that um, the the minister of information is such a shame that they are, they are they, because they are they are boasting right now that they followed Kanu for 4 years what about following Boko Haram for 4 years to know all about their hideouts and totally wipe them out so that we know that this thing is gone and is gone what about following uh Fulani headsmen to know that finally um all of this uh, um attack kidnapping everything is ended you see miss Miss priorities, misplaced priorities. That is what the uh, Benue State government called it. That all of this is misplaced priorities. Where they should channel their energy towards is something else. You know, that was how Buhari's hate speech started. Hate speech against the Igbos that led them to the eventual ban on Twitter. Well, I don't know why Kenya, or well, this is the card they told them to play. Play the card, deny the fact, um, don't reveal to them. Because, you know, if Kenya finally accept that, yes, now the Kano was arrested, and that is one thing that in presidency they are trying to conceal. They don't want Nigerians to know exactly where Nam the Kano was picked up from. Um, Kenya right now, they are playing along. I don't know if they're actually playing along or if it's um, actually the truth. But Nam the Kano's brother should have known exactly where Kano was if he actually went to Kenya. This is not like a family friend, his brother, his own blood brother that disclosed that um, Nam the Kano was arrested in Kenya. Well, uh, we know that uh, there is more to this. There is more to this. Well, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.